Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to this game's tutorial. So, today we actually finish implementing the game flow thing. We can actually play this game now, it's possible. So, uh, when we kill enemy, we get loot, it updates here. We can sell it, then buy some more level, and we can just build on top of that until we um, actually go somewhere with the game. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what we do today, but we also give ourselves some gold when we die. So, basically when the, the player is defeated, we take the wave, so the wave number, in this case we're on the fourth wave. We multiply that by 100, then we, we multiply that by the difficulty, so say you're on medium, uh, times 2. So in this case, the wave is 4 times 100, that's 400. Then uh, if we're on medium, that would be 800. We give that gold back to the player when he dies. So next time, next time he actually tries this, he's gonna have more levels, or more gold at least, to spend on levels. So uh, yeah, that is what we're gonna do today, guys, and without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so here we are right now, we're tackling the loot system, but, um, well, it's pretty much down there, but we never get to actually loot an item, and uh, that's pretty much what we're going to be tackling today, so we're going to be able to loot items from enemy based on our luck skill, and we will also reward the player at the very end when he loses, so depending on which wave he made it to, then we're going to give him some uh, goal compensation for that, so we will start right away by actually implementing something in the game UI. Now, I invite you to open up this game UI script. And we're gonna go to the very bottom, somewhere here. We're gonna say, public void, update loot container. This is to update the text inside of the loot container, and we're gonna do, we're gonna do that using a uh, loot index, like so. And the reason we're doing this through the game UI is because it's the one that has the loot container array, so. All we gotta do here is say loot containers with an S, add the index loot index dot update text or update. I think it's update text, we just haven't made it public, so let's have a quick look inside of the loot container. And yeah, here it is. Let's make sure this is public and we're gonna be calling it from the game UI, so over here. And that's pretty much all I just wanted to implement really quickly in the game UI because we're going to be needing it in a new function that we're about to make inside of the loot manager. So again, let's open up the loot manager.cs. We're going to go at the very end here and declare a public void drop item function. So this is going to be called if we have enough luck. So um, if we have enough luck, we're going to be calling this drop item and then the drop item is going to decide which item it is going to drop. Now the formula is going to be fairly simple, all we need is um, the amount of unlocked loot we need, we actually have right now. So we're going to get that by doing a get unlock loot amount. And right after that, all we have to do is say int loot index, and we're going to do a random dot range. So you're going to choose a random value in between 0 and amount. And do we need to specify if it's Unity Engine? We probably do, so let's go ahead and type in Unity Engine dot random dot range. All right. Um, once we have the actual loot we want to give to the player, so once we have the loot index, we're going to be calling the tower. So the tower dot instance dot loot. Add the loot index, and we're simply going to say plus plus. So say we drop a log, log is going to be sent to our stats and um, everything is going to be added up. But the only problem now is that it does not actually implement the UI, so let's do a game UI dot instance update loot container, which is the function we just coded a moment ago. We send it the loot index and we should now be good to go. Alright. Now um, if we call this function by itself, it's going to give us a item, a random item depending on the, depending on the selection of item we currently um, are available to drop. So we need to put that somewhere basically. And let's go ahead and open up the enemy script. I think it's a good place where we could be putting it. So here in the enemy script, I'm going to go down to the remove enemy function. Now that, that is a good place to actually do the looting. So. Um, let's say if random.value, 
is smaller or equal to stats helper that instance get stat value and we're getting the stat lock so say we have 10% chance then if the random value is in between 0 and um, 0 0.1 then we're actually going to be able to drop something so we have one third of a chance to actually loot something and if that's the case if we manage to enter that if statement then loot manager dot instance drop item and this function is going to take care of uh, dropping the proper item okay but um, if we actually go and have a look at our loot not loot but at the uh, stats helper stats helper over here it is actually going to be quite hard to drop something in the early level because our values our log value is only like I said a tenth out of a chance so I was actually thinking about bumping this to say 0.25 so you have a quarter of a chance to actually drop something and the increase per level is going to be something like 0, 0.05 which will give us uh, after 50 level it is going to give us a drop chance of uh, 1 and 2 and then like I said earlier we're going to be boosting this with research and so on okay so we got this. Um, let's actually give it a try. I'm going to launch this, starting from the preloader, going to launch this, going to go in the game. Now, it should actually update this text automatically when we kill something and we loot. So here we go. We have a quarter of a chance to actually loot something. It updates the text and we're actually allowed to sell. So this part is working and it actually, it gave us um, the three different values so that was pretty good as well what else could we be doing oh yeah so like, like I said a little bit earlier we're gonna be giving a reward to the player if he completes not if he completes but uh, whenever he loses we're gonna be rewarding the player when he loses depending on which wave uh, he has made it to so let's actually go back inside of the loot manager I'm thinking I'll be doing it here why not we're gonna be making a function that says reward on loss, reward on defeat and that's actually sent in the difficulty as well so difficulty diff and really all we have to do here is something like okay so we're gonna get the we're gonna get the amount well actually the wave index so game manager that instance current wave so say you're on wave one and you lose on wave one I'd like to actually give you um, you know what? Let's put let's call this amount actually. So if you're on wave one, amount is going to equal one. Then I'd like to multiply that by a hundred, and then multiply it again by the difficulty. So int difficulty like that. So um, say so you die on wave one, you're gonna get a hundred gold if you're on easy. Now if you're on medium, you're gonna get two hundred gold. And if you're on insane, you're going to get 700. So I guess people could actually cheat and go die on the first wave to farm that 700 gold. But then again, 700 gold is nothing. <laughs> it's like really small in our game. So that doesn't really matter. And uh, let's actually put that in a constant. So let's get the very top. Private cons in gold on loss per wave. That's a very big cons. Then we go down here, multiply it, and uh, do we need to do anything else? Oh yeah, we actually need to give out that gold, so let's go ahead and do that. D tower, that instance, currencies at the index, currency.gold, plus equal amount. And let's also make sure we update the gold text while we are here. So that instance update currency text. Okay, so everything seems to be working fine now. All we gotta do at this point is uh, give our gold. Um, is to actually plug this function somewhere in our game manager, I believe. So we'll go back again. We're browsing through a lot of script today, but um, that's that's what we need to do. So on our game manager, this is where we decide if we lose or not, I believe. Yes, on tower dead over here. On tower death. 
Um, we're gonna be calling reward on defeat. So loot manager that instance reward on defeat. We're gonna send it the current difficulty as well. And I think we're actually going to need to put some if statement because I don't know if this function is even is being called more than once. I have a feeling it is. So let's go check in the game. And uh, I will actually be right back while we try to lose. All right. Well, we should be dying at any moment now as soon as one of them hits the tower. So uh, in the next wave, this one has 14 HP. I hit for 12. So I need two shots. And eventually, they're going to be reaching the tower. So uh, whenever I die, I'd like to have a thousand gold. And as you can tell, we got a thousand gold. But now every time I get hit, I get another thousand gold. And um, that's because the uh, undef function of tower is still being called. So we need to find a way to actually turn that off. But um, it's very simple. We're going to go inside of the game manager. Have a boolean that we should have had a little bit before. But uh, we didn't need that back then. So it doesn't really matter. So a private bull is alive. As simple as that. And we're going to put it on through. That is very important. I don't want to be putting it in the start. Because that's one more line. Um, <laughs> let's put it here on true and uh, if update down here not if update but on the update I'll do if not alive we simply do a return but this is not going to work for the dev function because dev function is being called on the tower script so down here on the tower dev we are going to say if alive then we call these two functions like so and we also set the alive boolean to false now having this done, we should not have that problem anymore, and I'm actually going to start playing it again. And uh, I'll give you some news as soon as I'm about to die. <laughs> Alright, now we should be able to die in any moment, so I'm expecting to get 8,000 gold because I'm on a wave 10 right now. So let's have a look at this, get to hit, and I got 8,000 gold out of that, and I'm not getting any more because my tower is not alive. Uh, however, we're still getting loot, and I think we're going to be fixing that later on when we decide to just wipe all the enemies once we're done. And uh, also, the wave should not be updated anymore. As you can tell, we've still got four enemy to spawn, and it's not going down. Therefore, we managed to block that update as well. And that's exactly what we were aiming for. So guys, we finally have an actual uh, flow, game flow. I can actually play this now and uh, try to level up as much as I can. But of course the balancing kind of sucks and it's not the most entertaining game as of right now. But guys, um, this is what we managed to do today and I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you like. If you did, please leave me a like. Really appreciate that. If you have any question or comment, you can leave them on the Facebook page or in the comment section below. Guys, thanks a lot for watching again and I will see you in the next episodes.